it's only been a few days since Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. It's the scene that Brendan described in our service last week. My, how things can change quickly. Have you ever had a week like that? It starts off one way and then it ends up completely different. I've had weeks that just start off great and then sometime in the midst of it, it turns on a dime. That happened to all of us three weeks ago. This virus that was spreading on other continents had finally reached our front doors and caused everything to shift and to shut down. It's also happened to some of you on a personal level. A death in the family, a health crisis, a wayward child, maybe a financial setback or financial crisis from out of nowhere. You know, sometimes trouble comes to us from out of nowhere. There's nothing we could have done to prepare or to see it coming. Other times we can see it coming. We get a glimpse, a, a news report or a sense from God that we need to get ready for something. Or we might be waiting for a doctor's appointment or test results. I, I'm not really sure which one is worse. Surprise can, can be intense, but knowing something is coming can be agonizing. In this situation, Jesus knew it was coming. It didn't make it any easier. In fact, I'm convinced it made it even harder for him. This was the hardest thing that he was getting ready to face. When he got to the garden, scripture tells us that he was actually sweating blood. Luke 22 verse 44 says, And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. From a human perspective, there was nothing good about Good Friday for Jesus. He felt it. He was in anguish. I love that word. The word anguish means extreme distress of body, mind, or spirit. It, it, it involves excruciating pain or suffering of our soul. It leads to excessive grief, remorse, or despair. Now, expressed in the Bible, it chiefly comes from two words. That means straightened or pressed. It implies a narrowness that leads to distress. Jesus was experiencing anguish because there was only one narrow path in front of him. It was a path that led to extreme and ultimate suffering. You know, we people of faith have a similar path. The biblical writers talk a lot about it, that we have been invited into a, a journey of suffering along with Jesus. Now in this season of COVID-19, people are experiencing anguish, this extreme distress of body or mind or spirit or all three. And I just want you to know that Jesus can relate. In his season of distress, he pleaded with the Father, he said, Lord, if there's any other way. But then he continued on his narrow path. You know, the journey to the cross was a journey for Jesus that was marked with anguish. It was a journey of loneliness, a journey of pain. And Jesus wants you to know that you're not alone on your journey. He longs to join you on your journey. You know, Good Friday is good. It's good for what it accomplished for us that we were unable to accomplish on our own. But it came at a high cost. It came at the highest cost. Jesus came and suffered the wrath of God for you. So this Good Friday, let's remember the journey that Jesus went on for us, for you. It might encourage you on the journey you're on as well.